be an author. And just having something come out has just been awesome. Like, I'm just, like, seeing all these people here tonight is just amazing. And I'm so, so grateful. Um, I'm just proud that I took that leap because it's really scary. There's a lot of rejection in publishing um, and you know, there's a lot of doubt. Even once you get published, you start seeing the reviews come in. They're, not everyone's gonna like your book, but you're putting yourself out there. And I'm really proud that I stuck with it because it's really easy to be intimidated by this process. Um, and again, I see numerous romance authors out here. You know what it's like, and just authors in general. It, it is scary. Um, and it's scary to know that like my friends and my mom and dad are gonna read this book. You know, it's a pretty steamy book. I've tried to convince my parents that they don't have to read it. They also don't have to tell everyone about it. Like, but they do. They who, who is the, the most embarrassing person they have told about your book? Well, I told you this the other I know. day. <laughs> they told our former priest. <laughs> Now, I will clarify, he is a, not only our former priest, but a former priest. And so I'm like, mom, dad, you don't need to tell everyone. And they're like, oh, he's not a priest anymore. I'm like, but still, I was an altar girl. Like, he doesn't need to read it. Like, but he might come to your book event in Ohio. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> okay. Thank you. But, you know, it is scary, like, to think that people are going to read these words that you wrote. Um, and it's a very vulnerable place to be. But you just got to go for it. Mm-hmm.